Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'll be showing you how to download mods into Minecraft 1.21. Uh, today we'll be downloading JEI Journey Maps right here. And we'll also be downloading Mouse Tweaks, which you can see is downloaded here. I was also supposed to download Carry, uh, it was a Carry mod where you can carry entities if you shift, right click them. Uh, but it didn't work out, so go ahead and ignore that part of the video. Um, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, go ahead and head over to the second link in the description, which will take you to the Forge page where we will download 1.21. Uh, now, keep in mind, you can also use NeoForge and Fabric, um, but I will be doing Forge today. And also keep in mind that the different versions you pick, it allows you to play with more mods. Uh, let's say if we do 1.12, we can play with more mods than we can with 1.21 because mods haven't been updated to 1.21 yet. So keep that in mind on what version you want, but we will be doing 1.21 in this video today with Forge. So what you wanna do is press the installer button here, wait for the page, don't click anything on this page. You have to wait about five seconds and you're going to want to press the red skip button once it does appear. And as you can see, it's Forge 1.21, go and uh, take that to your downloads folder and save. Perfect. Now that that's saved, on to the next step. All right, guys. For the next step, we want to go to CurseForge. Uh, it will be the third link in the description. If it isn't, just look through the description. It should be in there uh, named CurseForge. And this is where we will download all our mods. Um, an important thing to keep in mind is you want to scroll down a little bit and you want to click Forge. Make sure it's only showing you Forge mods. Uh, you see here, Fabric, it goes away once I do that. And also the game version. Um, today we'll be doing 1.21, like I said. So we're gonna go ahead and click that uh, because if you have Forge 1.21 downloaded, you can't use 1.20.6. So uh, keep that in mind while you're doing so. Uh, but I have a couple mods I wanna download right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And just an important reminder, uh, you guys want to go to relations here, see if there's any dependencies. As we can see, there's none here. Uh, and once you've found a mod, you can go ahead and press download. And you can choose the mod loader and the version, as you can see. Now you just wait. Take about five seconds and it should start downloading. Here it is. So we're going to go ahead and save that into our downloads folder. Now let's do that with three of my other mods that I have. So relations, no relations. Um, you can just press download file. Sorry, one second. Um, you want to go do files here. You want to do 1.21 and forge. We can see all these ones. But if you don't want to do that and look for it, you can just press download, click the game version you want the mod loader and boom, it's, um, it just does it for you. All right, here we go. So here's the next step. Um, sorry, next mod. Um, the next one we want to do is mouse tweaks. Now you can either do it this way or go to files here, do it that way as well. And each mod takes about five seconds. So if you leave the page, if we go back, it's not going to download it. It's just going to stay at what it was just to keep uh, that in mind. And then the last one, we're going to do journey map. And it has been updated to 1.21, which is great. And let's go ahead and download that. Wait around five seconds. There we go. And save. All right, once we have those, uh, let's go to our downloads folder. And we wanna move all of these to our desktop just to make it a little easier. Now, what we have here is the mods <clears throat> and also Forge. So if your icons don't look like this, it's probably because you've never modded before on Minecraft. And in the link, <clears throat> in the link in the description, you wanna go to um, this link where it takes you to Java 21. And you wanna go down to where it says Windows 64 installer. You wanna press download. And you wanna download that here as well. And all this does is download Java. So let's wait for this to download. Um, I think I did. Yes, I did right there. 
Okay, so this is our Forge installer. We'll need this to download Forge. And if your icons don't look like this, go ahead and run the Java. And let's wait for that. You wanna press next, next, and just wait for this to finish. All right, as you can see, uh, we have successfully downloaded Java. I already had this downloaded, um, but it's not a big step. You can go ahead and close that. The next step is downloading Forge. You wanna go ahead and open this. You wanna press install client. You know, if, if it somehow does all of this, you can just press install client and press okay. Let's wait for this. We'll be right back. 2000 years later. All right, that took a little longer than expected. So let's go ahead and press okay once it's done. And let's go ahead and load up the Minecraft launcher. All right, now that we're back in the Minecraft launcher, as you can see, for me, it's 1.20.6. Um, but obviously you can change that because that's a custom installation that I did and here it is forge 1.20 If you do not see it here go up to the top left where it says installations press uh, And if you don't see it here press modded top right as you can see that takes away a couple But if you don't see it here either you can go ahead and do new installation name it uh, whatever you would like and you want to click on this version and we can see here, release 1.21 Forge. If you don't see here, because there's a lot of snapshots you can download from here, different versions, you can just search Forge. As you can see, I have 1.20.1, 0.6, 0 0.4, and what we just did is 1.21. Go ahead and press that. Game directory, it can be default, so go ahead and leave that as it is, and do your resolution, and press create. And there we go. It should be this one right here. And you go ahead and press play. Okay, now that Minecraft has loaded in, uh, we can see it's 1.21 and the Forge version right there. You want to go ahead and press mods. And as we can see, this is our mods page. We want to go ahead and go open mods folder. And our mods folder has opened up. I just have to alt tab in there. Uh, let's move these up real quick. Uh, let's actually move this away and we can go ahead and delete the forge installer so we are left with these four mods we can go ahead and let me go ahead and get that last one four mods go ahead and drag it in here as we can see it's forge 1.21 forge 1.21 forge 1.21 and for journey maps as well and you want to double check these whenever you add in a mod um, that it's actually forge 121 or whatever version you're playing on and we can go ahead and get rid of those mods and if we go back to our Minecraft, we can see nothing is here. The reason is we have to restart our Minecraft. So go ahead and quit game and come right back to this page. All right, now that we have relogged, uh, we can see down here there's seven mods loaded. So let's go ahead and go to our Mars folder. We can see we have JEI, Journey Map, Journey Map API, and Mouse Tweaks. So I did have to remove the carry on mod, which kind of sucks. Uh, I kept crashing my game. I didn't want to figure out why, but let's go ahead and go to single player, create a new world, and let's go ahead and do creative. All right, now we're here, uh, join the world, and as you can see, uh, press J to open JEI. Go ahead and close that, and as you can see, JEI is working perfectly. Um, oh, they changed the icons. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then we also have mouse tweaks, also JEI right here. Um, let's go ahead and grab a stack of, you know, just random stuff. Test out mouse tweaks. Uh, let's go ahead and go to inventory. As you can see, I can just drag and click. That's mouse tweaks. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed.